YouTube channel. In this video, we will be discussing the Food Safety and Standards Act. What is it and why do we need it? Having a proper food safety system in place allows us to reduce the foodborne illnesses, reduce the food wastage and associated costs, protect and enhance the business reputation, as well as to enhance the consumer confidence on domestic and international food. Establishment of FSS Act As you can see, prior to the enactment of the Food Standard and Safety Act in 2006, there were a number of food-related legislation administered by various ministries of the Government of India. This led to a state of overlapping and contradictory food standards, creating confusion among the various bodies involved in the food businesses. The existing laws on food also failed to match the rapid evolution of the food-related technologies. Ultimately, this hampered the growth of a modern food processing sector in the country. The Food Standard and Safety Bill 2005 was passed by both the Houses of the Parliament after extensive discussion and consultation with the stakeholders. It became an Act on 2nd August 2006. It consolidates the following acts and orders to promote the objective of food safety as a whole. Prevention of Food Adulteration Act 1954, Fruit Products Order 1955, Meat Food Products Order 1973, Vegetable Oil Products Order 1947, Edible Oils Packaging Order 1998, Solvent Extracted Oil, de oiled meal, and Edible Flour Order 1967, Milk and Milk Products Order 1992, any other order under the Essential Commodities Act 1955 relating to food. The objective of the Act was to make safe and wholesome food available to the public in keeping with the changing needs and requirements. It also aimed to establish Food Safety and Standards Authority of India FSSAI, as a single reference point for all the matters relating to FSS Act, Enforcement and Regulations. Foods covered under FSS Act All kinds of food, whether unprocessed, semi-processed or processed, are covered under the scope of this Act. It also includes all the substances and water that is used in the preparation of the food. The Act does not discriminate between a small hawker or a huge food business operation and is therefore applicable to all the people involved in the food businesses. Enforcement The responsibility of compliance of food standards as per the FSS Act, the rules and regulations, lies with the states and union territory governments. The framework for this enforcement involves the following officers. First, the Commissioner of Food Safety of State is responsible for efficient implementation of food safety standards and other requirements in the state. His powers include carrying out surveys in the food industrial units, conducting training programs for regulatory staff, and generating awareness on food safety among other duties. Second, designated officers are appointed for each district of a state to be in charge of food safety administration in the specified area. The DO is primarily responsible for issuing, cancelling, licensing of food business operations. Third, food safety officers are appointed by the Commissioner of Food Safety for local areas. They are the face of food legislation and interact directly with the food business operators on a frequent basis. The functions and duties of the FSO will ensure that safe food is produced and consumed in India. Fourth, adjudicating officers look into offences committed by food business operators against the Act and provide legal consultations in these matters. Fifth, food analysts are appointed by the State Commissioner. They must be declared qualified for appointment as a food analyst by a board appointed and notified by the FSSAI. They are required to analyze the given article of food and verify its safety. These bodies work together as shown and thus ensure compliance to FSSA. It is important to understand that food 
safety is a shared responsibility of everyone who is involved in the food business, right from the food business operator to the regulator and the consumer. The FSS Act 2006 works to enable each of these bodies access to safe food in the interest of public health. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to our channel. Until next time, stay informed, stay healthy.